Welcome back to another episode. Today is all about organizing. A good day of bass fishing is all based off of sometimes being organized and having things in in place when you need them, where you need them. Not scrambling looking for certain things <clears throat> and just being on top of it. So once I get this thing organized, get everything, put it in its place, then I'll kind of go over with you guys about how I like to organize my tackle boxes and uh, and everything like that so stay tuned all right guys got everything organized just the way I like it uh, with the exception of my spinner base here I'm run out of room for those but I will find a spot for those uh, shortly but let's go over this here first this is my hard bait tackle funnel box and what I've done here so far is I've got my square wheels here, which are just your regular square wheels, along with these here. These right here run a little bit deeper than these here. These probably run about six to six feet at the at the most, maybe eight, depending on your line. Then I got my cold water cranks here. These run from four to six. A little bit smaller these are 1.5 size just like these kvs up here these are all my shallow runners and like i said in my previous video if you haven't invested in some of these treble hook covers i highly suggest you do that because they do come in handy and it keeps everything kind of untangled and you don't have to worry about things getting hung up on each other so that's that for this part so i'm gonna close it up and as you can see i do have a mystery but tackle box sticker uh, I am currently with I do have a subscription with them so if you haven't tried it out I suggest you try that it is a good way to try the lures that you have not tried before or used and a good way to gain confidence in, in things you haven't tried before so on to the jigs this is another little box I have I showed it to you guys in my last video and I just switched things up I had my square bullets in here my heart baits the reason why I switched it up is this this has a little bit of holes in it kind of airs things out and then the jigs the skirts get wet and, and I, I like to put it in here that way it can dry faster so what I have going here I got my swim jigs here these are all finesse jigs and the rest are football jigs and that's how I like to keep that set up I don't really throw a lot of football head jigs, even though I have a lot. I prefer to throw these little bitty small finesse jigs, these little mini flipping jigs from Strike King. I'm just gonna close it up and go to the next one. Terminal tackle, it's kind of unorganized, um, but I have my my weights. I have my finesse hooks for the drop shot here. One out of place. But the rest of them are actually here. I got my hooks here from worm hooks. I got uh, weighted gap hooks, mojo rig weights, and you name it. I got a little bit of everything going on in here. I really don't care too much for this being organized. It's just me to get to it. Get these in there. These are rebar. <clears throat> quality worm holding hooks for specifically for the robo worm itself top water love my top water I fished uh, quite a bit of top water this past summer and spring I got frogs this is the spro popping frog I believe I got the live target field mouse Another frog here, I can't remember the name of it. And everybody knows what this is. This is the 130 Whopper Popper. And I have the Spro Rat. As you can see, these work well on those hooks as well. The keepers, the covers. Whopper Poppers, got about three in there. I know I have a fourth one around here somewhere. The Pompadour. Couple spooks. Got here some uh, buzz baits. Showed you this in my last video. 
these bus baits here I actually got these from the last the uh, Bass Pro Expo the weekend before last cover all bases as far as colors I got the chartreuse I got the all black and the white with a gold blade put a little Kitex swim bait on the end of that that should work out pretty good and this is everything back in here and then go on to the next box I think this might be a fit in here I'm actually gonna have to invest in a bigger box for my top water rules since I fish them so much yeah, that's not gonna work but we'll keep that like that for now and what I have here I got my contact swim baits I got a couple spinner baits Strike King I don't know the name of this one here can't remember the name the brand Shadow bait, lipless cranks, inline spinners, swim baits. Um, this is fish head spin, and I got some other little swim, jig heads for kind of take swim baits. And I think this that kind of sums everything up, other than the fact that I do have this new extreme bass roll shops binder and this is I really really highly recommend you grab this you can put all your soft patches in here you don't have to worry about them being all over the place as you can see it holds quite a few I believe it holds up to 22 of these little plastic bags I like to put my finesse worms and all my zoom trip worms up front all the way down to the bigger zoom the curly tails and then I got my drop shot worms I got some bio spines in here I got some some um, robo worms I got some Charlie worms uh, crawls in here these are all my trailers and I actually have some KVD uh, perfect plastic crawls in here of the um, what is that there that is the rodent along with some some crawls in there as well so it kind of just sums everything up of how I like to organize my things. Everything is in a certain box. So I know exactly where it is. I know what spot it's in, and, and I can get to it fairly easy. So this is just a little suggestion on how you can organize your, your plan of boxes and keep everything organized and get to it from step one to two to three or A to B, however you want to call it. That way everything works out while you're on the water you don't have to struggle looking for things and you know where everything is so as always guys i appreciate you watching my videos you can also share my videos like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next episode of east coast bass fishing